warriors back to school necklaces. It sounds like a very cute term, but I've recently learned that this is actually a crisis. What does back to school necklaces mean? You know, over the years, we've heard of kids were wearing different bracelets, uh, denoting sexual tears. We heard of that a couple of years ago. I even never heard of the term back to school necklaces. Well, let me tell you, because this is a warning, parents beware, grandparents and all concerned citizens. Back to school necklaces, it comes from the Urban Dictionary, another name for noose. When kids online, you know, they have their own language and they use emojis uh, to represent different things. We might think a cute little apple is just an apple, but to the kids, it has an entirely different meaning. Actually, you can find this whole dictionary if you go to lindswarriors.org and you will see what emojis, the alternate definitions of emojis mean. If you go under news and events, uh, you will see this. I want to get back to back to school necklaces because this is very disturbing. If you hear your child talking about back to school necklaces, you see something they've posted online, take action and take action immediately. It is not a cute term. It is not not a show of uh, any kind of weakness to seek help. We live in an overwhelming environment, so much happening in 2022, and no one, no one can keep up with it. I even, and I'm tough, wake up and feel like I'm getting hit over the head every day with a hammer, with all of this predation, all of these uh, new things happening around us, the escalation of what's going on with our children regarding online and real-time safety, the education system, it goes on and on and on. So let's take a step back, a deep breath, back to school necklaces. There is a new code, three-digit code 988 for the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Now, this is good news because it's very easy to get information, anybody in crisis, but you can call them just to seek out local resources, just to ask a question, just to run something by them. Don't be shy. The information is there for you and it's free. That is 988. The sad part of that story is that we've come to this point where we need, like we have 911 for emergencies, 988. But it's there. So use it. Let's stay focused on that. Talk to your child. Communicate. Please raise awareness with other parents, other family members. Back to school necklaces. You know, I always talk about TikTok and the terror on TikTok. This is something, you know, we don't want it to escalate into any kind of back to school necklace challenge, anything like that. It is not a cute term. I repeat, if you hear your child talking about this, confront them, talk to them, seek help, talk to the pediatrician, talk to the doctor, but it must start at home. You must talk to your child. So back to school necklaces. Let's put that on our parental beware list for our back to school safety which we're going to be having a lot of information and a lot of uh, shareables in the next couple of weeks as we head into the back to school 2022-2023 season. We will not allow the predators, the criminals to win because we are warriors.